Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a tip on how to isolate bits from a sample. Sections of a sample, I guess I was going to say. Um, and this is a really simple trick you can do with Dr. Octorex, for example, if you've got a loop there that you want. Now let's say you've got a drum loop and you just want the hi-hats, or you've got a drum loop and you just want to get the snare and you want to take the hi-hats out. Um, you can use the EQ for this, but also actually you can do some really interesting things with the ADSR uh, amp envelope section of the Dr. Octorex to use the uh, sort of the transients of the sample to isolate the parts that you're looking for. Um, so let's take a quick look. This is the sample. This is just one of the basic ones that comes with Reason. We're going to figure out how to get just the snare and the kick, maybe just the snare, and then just the hi-hats, and we're not going to use a ton of EQ to do that. Um, before we go any farther, though, I want to ask if you guys have another method of isolating samples um, besides EQ, um, because that's, I think, the main one that people go to. You know, you just cut out all the lows or cut out all the highs, but sometimes that changes your sample in the way you don't want. So if you do, please leave a comment below. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. Um, so let's jump in. So here we have just a basic drum loop. And let's talk real quick about what these four knobs do. It's how long it takes for the attack of the instrument to hit, how long it takes for that initial hit to decay, and then to sustain, and finally, ultimately release. Um, actually, I think if we open a Europa, it might show this. Does it show the A? Yeah. So this is basically, um, you can think of it as having the, well, hey, now. Um, let's see if we can find a good preset that sort of shows it. This is kind of a perfect example of it. So you've got from here to here is the attack. From here to here is kind of the decay. Um, from here to here would be the release or the sustain. And then there can be a little something at the end, which would be the sustain. Um, like if we were to, oh, come on. Well, anyway, another one at the end would be the sustain. Um, the attack actually would be how, where that would come in. So that's sort of a visual representation of what we're going to be doing. Um, now let's go to the drum kit and we'll show you how that sounds. And then we'll show you how you can use the ADSR curve to isolate elements. So we'll just hit play. If you take up the attack all the way, nothing comes through because it takes so long for the sound to trigger. Let's bring it down. When it's up here, you just kind of hear the back end, but you don't really hear much of the thwack. This is just a little less that whack. And this is all the way. Now the decay. Here you just hear a little clip. There's kind of a cool filtered sounding hip hop beat but without any high passing going on. And notice there's no hi-hats there. Um, sustain makes it breathe out longer. Same with release. You're not gonna really hear the sustain and release on a patch like this because it's so transient heavy. Um, let me see about just opening up another one. Um, Octorex patch, so you can actually hear how sustain and release might work. Um, we'll use a synth loop, electro house here. And to get to these, um, I should have mentioned this, uh, you click on, well, that's pretty busy. Um, chords are probably more what we're looking for. Uh, too many chops. Um, okay, this might do it. So you expand this menu here to get here, and let's listen to the sample. And now with a long sustain and release. You hear how much longer that rings out. Versus. Versus. 
So, um, yeah, it'll depend on the length of the loop and all of that. Um, but going back to uh, the drum one, I think with the drums especially, it mostly just comes down to A and D, getting those right. And I'm just keeping a little bit of release and sustain so that it's natural. So I already kind of alluded, just to isolate the uh, kick and the snare here, we just bring down the decay. You might want to fine tune that a bit. There's still a hint of it in there, but that's, I think, in some ways a more natural sound than uh, dropping a high pass, I mean, a low pass filter on it. This is another way of doing it, right? You drop the low pass filter. But this kind of really, I think, squishes the sound of the um, snare, that's thwack, and sort of the punchiness and smack of the kick. Um, and similarly, um, you know, so maybe a little bit of low pass filtering can help, but really just And there's still a little bit of hi-hat in there, but mostly that's just, if you want to isolate the kick and snare there, that's what you can do. Um, alternately, let's say you want just the hi-hat, right? We'll cut out all the low end. And that's You still have a little bit of the snare there, but. And now let's turn the high pass off. And let's just listen to what that would sound like if we were only using EQ. If you just use EQ, you're getting so much of that snare sound there. So this can be a really useful tip for totally remixing loops that you have. Uh, really consider playing around with the A and the D on a loop player to extract the portions of the loop you want. For example, you could mix and match. We'll just use this here as an example before we drop off. We've got this drum beat. We'll just use the kick and the snare from here. We'll open a new drum loop. Um, sure, glitch and noise. Well, these could just be all tops. Um, let's use it. Bomb Squad beat, sure. No, yes, okay. So let's listen to this beat real quick. And we just want the hi-hat for this one. All right, now let's run them together. We weren't using the ADSR, it would be a total train wreck. Um, so you can really use this to combine loops in unique ways. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, leave a comment below or leave a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more great reason tips. And then, you know, if you have another way of doing this, I'd love to hear it. Please leave that as a comment. Thanks so much.